All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, you're welcome to this session. I am very, uh, very, very delighted that uh, we have been having uh, several lessons since we started last week. We have been going through the DIT uh, web applications user, uh, web app, uh, computer applications user, and web uh, developer training manuals. And uh, this is a program that has been running uh, with um, Ison, uh, Ison School of Computing and Shiability Uganda. And uh, I'm very glad that uh, we are getting to the final lecture all of class. But like we have said, the discussions and engagement will continue until the day of the assessment and even after that, shall continue sharing. We want to see us succeed in this field. Whereas we are teachers, we should not just be only teaching. When COVID came, teachers who had side businesses did not overcry they continued surviving. And actually, there are some people who built during COVID. <laughs> they realized that the chalkboard was actually holding them captive somehow. I'm not saying that you leave the chalk. Please keep teaching. Given me here in our office of shareability, you can see I'm having a blackboard here. So even when I'm not in the color SS, I can be here teaching. So we can continue teaching. We can continue teaching in our schools, but that doesn't stop us to uh, do some businesses alongside. Uh, we have been going through uh, this book. Uh, we, would, we have been going through uh, these uh, books. We have a uh, computer applications user. We have web developer. There's another one here for system administrator. Maybe in another cohort, we shall also do that, and many others that have been earmarked. So during these sessions, we looked at several things. We looked at um, what we call planned website development, planning a website. So we're looking at, okay, you want to be a web developer, you want to design a website. Website has to be planned. So we looked at how do you schedule meetings? How do you uh, collect data from the client? How do you analyze what the client needs? Because some clients don't know what they need. So you may be able to advise them and give them a, a, a website proposal. Compiled one, which factors the specifications of the website you want to do, the various parts of the website, and also a budget. You need to have a contract with the client right from day one. If you don't do that, you may find yourself being a website and then the client refusing to give you money. Some, for me, when I was starting, I'll be sharing with you and I have some colleagues here on call uh, who are joining us. They are going to tell us whether they have ever made a website for a client and the client refuses to pay. You just start on a client website and the client doesn't like the website. So from there, we looked at designing website layout. And in this case, we are looking at uh, designing. These are the logos, the colors, the, 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 the coming up with a mock-up or wireframes. And uh, ideally, that is supposed to be done. Designing mock-ups is supposed to be done before website is really such that the client can look at the design and approve. Then after that, when you collect the pictures, like our colleagues were showing us, pictures are 12 MBs, 20 MBs. You need to optimize them for the web. The videos need to be converted into formats or uploaded onto YouTube, edited the video clips if you want to put them on your website. So we had what you call prepare multimedia content. Then after that, we went ahead and looked at developing the website now. 
And I told members that if you are to be a website developer, you need to learn some coding. You cannot call yourself a developer when you don't know some HTML. You don't know what a web page is. You don't know what a hyperlink really means. All you know is maybe to use a page builder or some software that makes you just a media web designer or something. So web development starts from learning how the web works, the server architecture and all those things. And then after that, you can introduce using a CMS like WordPress because it makes life simple and makes work done faster. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't learn the first principles which are there. Then we also looked at hosting website and I tasked members to host their websites and um, give each member a subdomain. So you cannot call yourself a web developer when the website ends on your laptop. Your laptop website must see the web. That means it must go online. So you should know how to transfer files and upload them onto the website. Now, when you put a website online, that's not the end. A website has to be maintained. Sooner or later, a hacker will hack it. Plugins will need to be updated. Uh, a website will become obsolete. You need to up, 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 update the blog post. You may need to back up the website. You may need to do several things. So we looked at maintenance, speed optimization, uh, search engine optimization, you also need to train your client, your user, make sure that he can use, utilize the website. You need to make sure that the SSL certificate is renewed when it is expired and even the domain name. Case in point, I shared the website of Exodus College whose domain name expired and they had to buy another domain after the other one was taken by the Chinese. So we looked at those things. Now, today, after having learned all the theory and the practicals, we want to look at how do we make the money? How do we make the money? Members, in the morning, you looked at how to make the money in the computer applications user occupation. And Mr. Dumba was generous. He showed us even how he manages his records, his accounts, and everything, how he makes the budget and everything. So we want to discuss these aspects and the uh, it is going to help us. I'm very glad uh, more members have joined. We are now around 10 members. And um, we we'll also want to welcome on board Mr. Uh, Moses Sebunya. Uh, I've just been following, I've just been seeing his Twitter. He will share with us his journey in the web development and how, whether he has done some money in his field. So before we go into the theories, I want to first give a chance to our guests because uh, they could be having other appointments. I want to give a chance to our guests to share with us how they started in this field of website development. And uh, we have here candidates who have been learning they want to learn really, is this something they can go into and make something alongside the teaching? Uh, so I want to hear from the members. I'm going to start from Mr. Moses Sebufu. Please you introduce yourself and tell us something about your journey in this field and how you started up. Having learned the WordPress, how did you transform WordPress into money? and how do you maintain your clients? Mr. Sebufu, are you online? Yes. Yes, uh, it's your turn. You can, if you're in a good place, you can switch on your camera. And then uh, we'll hear from you. Then we shall also hear from Mr. Sebunya. Then we shall get back into uh, other details here in the book. All right, um, let me check my camera. Um, yes, uh, am I audible enough? Yes, you are audible. Okay, maybe my 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 camera may not work well. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, esteemed organizers and fellow web design ethics, 
it's an honor to be here today and share my thoughts on the transformation of uh, the transformation power of web design and development, uh, the art of handling clients, and the immense potential of WordPress in changing people's lives. Um, I'm Sebo Moses from Masaka. I'm a teacher, and I also do web designing. Um, I was introduced to WordPress back in, if I have not forgotten, it was 2017. Yes. So um, I got a client. Uh, a client uh, had a, a community based organization, and they wanted a website. They wanted a website. So they hired me, they gave me some money. Um, we didn't write anything down. We didn't write something like an agreement, but they trusted me. So I worked on the website and it took long because I was using HTML, CSS, uh, uh, adding JavaScript. So the project took long. The client wanted the website badly. And um, what I did, uh, I, I contacted lodgers Mukalele because we were in WhatsApp groups of teachers. He was always positive about uh, web designing, yeah, using WordPress. I didn't know what WordPress meant by that time. So I contacted him. We agreed on a certain amount. That means that I was subcontracting him uh, to do the job. And uh, Unfortunately, the job was not done in time. I don't know why. Maybe it was occupied by uh, the tasks. I continued to stay in touch with him. So we made, we, we made an, an appointment. I met lodgers in one day here. Uh, we sat in a certain cafe. We did the project. Within less than five hours, the project was completed. And I was observing what he was doing, huh? explaining briefly, this is how it is done, this is how it is, it is done. So that was the start of using WordPress. That was the start of my journey. And um, as uh, we delve into the topic, I hope to inspire you and provide practical advice that will propel you toward success in the world of design. Uh, I can tell you a lot of opportunities are available waiting for you, waiting for people who are creative and dedicated. So it's now you to utilize those opportunities. I search for those opportunities, but how will you search them? That is definitely when you have the skills and knowledge needed to tap into those opportunities. So web design and development have become uh, in important in today's digital landscape. And I believe the ability to create a busy, visually appealing and user-friendly website has become a potential to captive over the years, drive into businesses, uh, facilitate meaningful connections, whether you are an aspiring web designer or an estimated, uh, an established professional, they are key principles that we need to that we need to know that will guide us in our journey. So firstly, I would like to say, uh, uh, I call it art of handling clients. But before maybe I go to how you can handle clients, you, you need to first get a client. Now, uh, the way how I get clients may be different from the way how lodgers or any, anyone uh, dealing in web design and gets clients. Me, I'm a teacher, as I, I told you, but uh, when COVID hit, all people were stranded. We didn't know what to do, what was next. Huh? Others went back to the villages to dig, uh, look after their gardens. But for us who had acquired the knowledge of uh, the knowledge and skills of uh, designing websites, we survived. I can testify that when COVID hit, uh, when uh, there was a breakout, I think it was 2020, around uh, March, around March. So schools were closed. Before that, 
I had some clients, but we are not many. So when we went into lockdown, it's when I started getting serious, uh, serious clients. So I can say WordPress fed me, uh, gave me opportunities to connect with the new people during that time, although it was online. And later after, I met them physically. So uh, I earned some good money, which I never earned before. Teaching, I don't, I, I'm not saying that uh, teaching is bad. No, no, no. It's what uh, brought me to that level, but the money so far gained from me designing and development is much more than what I gained from teaching. And it's what I'm now surviving on. So during the, uh, the, 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 the lockdown, I used to go on the internet, uh, Facebook, by that time I was using uh, Facebook so much. So I used to write about what is happening in the WordPress, uh, what is trending in WordPress. I used to write about designing. So that's how I got clients. And then another way how I got clients, I approached them. I talked to them that, you know what? You have an organization. Because me, most of the clients I get uh, uh, people who run non-profit organizations. So I had to convince them, I had to show them what is, uh, what are they really missing when they are offline, when they don't have online presence. So I had to go physically there, talk to them that, you know what, you are missing. Now with non-profit organization, one of the ways I used to approach them is showing them that they can raise some money, you know, that kind of online fundraising. Uh, it is very hard for someone without a website to fundraise. So I had to convince them, uh, they accepted. And uh, 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 when they accepted, we agreed on the terms and conditions. And uh, I did the, the projects. But there are some challenges I told, as I told you, my first project uh, uh, I worked on, I didn't write an agreement with uh, that person. And uh, what disturbed me a lot, when we finished the project and handed it to them, they kept on uh, telling me, Moses, change here, change this page, change this content, change these images. Huh? It took almost a year. So I had to, uh, to do it because we didn't write anywhere. But after that one year, I told them, you know what? For these services, you have to pay. Since I have managed this website for some good time, I think you can inject more money. So I tell my friends, those who are willing to join the industry, when you want to do this job well, I know it was covered well, you have to write an agreement somewhere. You agree on the terms and conditions. When are you supposed to hand over the website? What are the activities you are supposed to do? about it. So that's how I get my clients. And if I work well on a project and a client gets satisfied, that client also connects me to another person. But there is a certain time when I had no money and I wanted money badly. So I met a certain client. The client told me, Moses, I have uh, uh, 500,000. Can you do my website? It's an e-commerce website. So I wanted the money, but the money was not enough to, to, to complete the project. So the same thing would come to you when you are looking for the money badly. So you should consider that. You should first calculate the, the, the money that is needed for the project. And um, if you see that it's not sufficient, you just leave the project because it will take you into troubles. Then as I wind up, um, now let's talk about the art of handling clients. So building a strong client relationship is vital in the industry. And the effective communication, active listening, and understanding of the client's vision are essential elements. So by truly uh, grasping their goals, we can align our design and development strategies, deliver tailored solutions that exceed expectations. So additionally, you should set realistic timelines. Uh, managing your expectations and providing regular updates. So those things are very crucial for maintaining the trust and assuring uh, client satisfa satisfaction. So that's how 
I can say how you can uh, handle your clients in case you get a client. You produce a good product, uh, uh, consequently or uh, uh, consequently keep in touch with them either through email, WhatsApp, giving them calls, giving them update about their project, what they should do. So you should engage your clients when you're designing that website. And um, now let's explore the power of WordPress in changing lives. I think I'll end that. So WordPress has uh, re revolutionized the web design landscape. And uh, empowering individuals and businesses to create stunning websites without expensive uh, coding knowledge. You don't need coding knowledge to put up a website now because of that WordPress. And it is versatile, flexible, and I think it's, robust, it's a robust community uh, that it makes it a game changer for anyone seeking an online presence. Uh, last year I was in Balala. I had gone for a small job it was, uh, I was doing, was uh, redesigning a website for a, a certain a person running a certain business. Then a certain white man uh, came across me, met me, was asking, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I see, he was seeing codes uh, on the screen. Uh -huh. I told him, I'm designing a website. You know, this is what I'm doing. He told me, ah. Are you a web developer? I told him, yes, I can do some customizations. So he gave me a job. At first, I thought the job was um, to be done here in Uganda. So we agreed on the, 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 the prices. And uh, I charged him less because I wanted the money. Sometimes we charge less because we want money. But that can that should be done after calculating the initial costs that will go to your project. So the, the man told me, okay, now it's it's not design, the job is not for designing a website. I want you to train my staff. I have a website that disturbs me, they can't uh, post when they, they want to create posts, they have to go to the back end, get what, what, and what. So I agreed. So I accepted the job. And uh, surprisingly, after some time, uh, we had to, to work on the visa. I had the passport. Uh, so it's when I got to know that I'm going abroad to train the what? The staff. But I was saying, you know, how can I charge this race when I'm traveling that far from Uganda to Chicago? Mm -hmm. So I was confused. I didn't know what to say. But to keep my trust, I just kept it. I just kept it. Then we went. I trained for uh, I trained his staff for three weeks. Actually, there were two weeks, but I spent there three weeks. And that was the time uh, the first one camp ginger happened. Mm -hmm. So that was the period. So I trained them. He gave me the money. Redone. But I was feeling like ah, this man has cheated me. But I didn't express it. And you know what happened? Uh, when I was about to leave Chicago, the, the man paid me thrice the, 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 the prices I quoted. So I was surprised. And uh, right now I'm still in touch with them. They yeah. redesigned their website. So that is mm. what I can say. Maybe as I conclude, uh, I can say. Yeah. Mr. Moses. Yes, please. Yeah, maybe uh, when members ask uh, some questions later on, you can be able to share. Yeah, right. Otherwise, thank you very much. Um, members, uh, Mr. Moses uh, Sebufu is the currently the community lead for uh, WordPress Massacre. And uh, one of the things is very active on Twitter. You can go to Twitter, you can follow him at Heritage Center. Recently, we were in that side of um, Kalungu and uh, he shared with us and helped us in the training and shared his story. So members, um, we can do this. This is a, a very, we, when we are, there are very many occupations in ICT. 
But web developer is something that we can really leverage on as teachers and can and also guide our learners to get these skills. And uh, the market is is immense. You cannot finish it. You cannot finish it. So uh, what uh, WordPress Massacre is also organizing uh, WordCamp Massacre and. Uh, uh we are going to be sharing this information in the group so we should participate in these uh, meetups now uh before we continue um i want to at this time also <coughs> invite uh mr sebunya moses kasa uh, mr sebunya moses kasa i remember in lockdown there when uh you were contemplating uh when you were at uh, one of the schools that side of um uh yeah one of the schools that you were in there and then okay should i really do go freelance because you had the skills of computer application the graphic skills and then also the website was something that you were doing so i'm here on your website and looking at some of the projects that you have worked on and i'm really amazed and uh i was scrolling through twitter and I came across your um, tweets. Um, and when I saw these tweets, this is your Twitter account, Passatech on Twitter. So um, I saw your tweets. One uh, from the packages that you were providing, computer solutions. So you are actually a two in one. You are doing the computer applications user, the computer repair, and all those things uh and then also you are providing now hosting so you have become a colleague a comrade in, in hosting because you have displayed here your 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 package i remember the first time i gave you a jalibu plan when i was the, on center for Web presence personally i have been in this business of web hosting for some time uh at first i was doing center for web presence that was my domain but it was a bit difficult in branding so i left it and then i uh, teamed up with uh, his own web services for some time then after that again i again came back and i, I started promoting under shareability so there are really many experiences so this was an article i wrote in 2018 and i was uh, talking about the hosting plan of 36,000 and uh this was an article and then i also posted also an article uh on my website uh where i was telling people that i can do for them a website at 150k so i was a broke guy and i was there with my laptop and i said i can do for your website at 150k and uh, i wrote an article there on my website so i was breaking down that i will need a domain name of around 40,000 and the hosting of around 60, then I'll eat the 50K uh, for website planning, design and development. So, <laughs> but right now, if I look at this article, I can really see that. Look at, there is even continued maintenance. By the way, the aspects that we have discussed in this session, they are all here. This is an article I wrote in 2018. I put their domain name, hosting, website planning, design and development, and then it is maintenance okay so all these things uh, are supposed to be really uh, so if you look at now my website proposals they're in millions of money but there was a time i was looking at 150k so i just chipped in that but i want now hear from uh, mr moses kasa to tell us about uh, his story in uh, in the field of uh, web design and how uh, he got here Mr. Moses, your time. All right. Thank you so much, Rogers. It's really an honor to be speaking to all these people. Personally, my WordPress and website development journey was really a tough curve because in the beginning, I didn't even know if I needed it. And I've always had a problem. I didn't believe when people asked me to join their things. You know, we've had a lot of affiliate marketing. I don't know if you people relate. Alliance in Motion. It was really a lot. And everybody would tell you how their brand is the best. So I would always tell them, if your brand is the best, then 
why don't you buy for me and let me pay, pay you when I make the money? Because you prove that you make the money. So Mr. Dumba, Steven was a colleague of mine when I was working in Namagoma with some school. And one day he asked me to escort him. And it was, I think it was a joke. I don't know if he was serious or he really wanted me to escort him. Actually, he was introducing me to what? Because I used to do my HTML, then I have a colleague of mine who does Java. So I'll do HTML with my CSS, then push to him to finalize the PHP and JavaScript. Wow, it was tedious. And now here, I reach there, there's some guy called Lawrence who's talking about Gutenberg. Before I even know what WordPress is, this guy is telling me Gutenberg. And then people complaining, it's a lot of stuff. And then they have a beginner section. They give me audience. And the first thing is Rutai is teaching me how to install locally. But then as they're speaking, if this thing is really valuable, why don't they start me for free? And then Rogers at that time had outed a hosting plan. It's called a Jaribu. 200 MBs, you come. So I got a free domain. By then, the TKs, ML, whatsoever, there were very many free domains at that time. Currently, those domains are no more. But they used to be free in those days. So you would buy, you'd get the free domain and get this free hosting. That was my opportunity. I learned a lot in that time because every time I would go to Dumba, he was doing something. And then Dumba spoke at what what campaign table. Me, I didn't know about it, but the experience he had, and he kept talking about it in the meetup. So when they announced what camp Kampala 2018, I went. And then I took photos that day. I still had a Galaxy S9. Wow. I took photos. I took photos. And then I was the Twitter photographer of the event. So I won for best influencer and I, I earned myself a free domain and free hosting. So when I designed my first site, it was not the very best. When you go to web archive, you would find it. It was not the very best. It was actually not, not nice looking. But to that, to my standard, then it was the best I could get. And fortunately, someone saw it and they asked me. And that is how I landed my first web application. And it is that job that now pushed me. I, felt, I thought if I can make money from this site, it is as shitty as it is, then that means I can make real money from designing serious websites. So I started reading on Elementor, I started practicing. I started a lot of things, and it is these things that kept pushing me. My website has kept on growing. And then I met a colleague. This guy knew something to do with WordPress. But then he was stuck between HTML templates and WordPress. He didn't know when to use what. He didn't know the importance of each. So what I did, so what I did was to plan accordingly. And now I started teaching him how to design websites with WordPress. This is a skill he already had, but he didn't know even how to use it. And now it is in our encounters that he started learning about it. And then before we knew it, he was a complete WordPress developer. And now he was doing this hosting and he was telling me, I can hook you up to one of my reseller programs. I was like, okay, how does this work? So he told me he can give me hosting space if I gave him 400,000 a year. But 400,000 was a lot of money. And I didn't actually know what, I'm, what I was diving in. So I told him, how about you give me space? And every time I sell, I'm selling for you. This thing is working. Then you give me commission. And he accepted. So I would get web host clients and give to him. But now I got to a time when I would get clients, but they want me to design their website. And then I cannot design a website and give it to someone else to host it. I had to host myself because that's the only way I, I ensure it is secure. That is also the only way I am sure that it's going to make money, that it is not going to be hacked because I need to trust the server. And for me to trust the server, I need to be running the server. I need to know what is with these SSLs. Are they really working? Is the site secure? So I talked to some guys who gave me their server. I paid up and started hosting. I started with myself and it, I realized the site was stable. So I was like, okay, if my server is stable, then I can host other people. So I started looking for web host clients. 
And the trick with me was, I don't tell people to host separately. I tell, I give them a whole packet that I, I can develop your website at this much. So at that time, they get to choose. Do you want me to design for you or you want me to design and host? And most of them would choose design and host because no one wants a redundant web. Because you know, they just give you website files and what will you do with them? So I designed and hosted websites. And now I have a server of my own, a cPanel server, and I am hosting other clients. And now I don't even have to worry about my website. The only thing I worry about is the domain. My website is hosted 24 seven. But all these are things I learned from other people. A few tricks I would love to share. Be inquisitive. Don't see things and think they are no more. It is usual, everybody is doing it. No, 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 there's nothing normal in this world. People are going to tell you, because you're not doing this, you're not the best at it, you're going to miss out. You're not going to miss out. But just know, why are they asking me not to do this? Read about it. Do a lot of research on it. You can make it. Be professional. When you tell someone you're going to do for 500,000 in six days, keep it six. And for me, I always told myself, if I ask for six days, I deliver in five. Document everything. Don't just rush into designing a website because a client wants a website and they have money. Sit down, have an MOU. This memorandum of understanding is your alibi. Because I designed some website, mujeteteam.com, for some Kenyan called Team Mujete. But the problem I found is every time he looked at other sites, he would come back to me and say, Moses, I want my site to do this. Moses, I want my site to do this. Until one time I sat with him and said, this is not what we discussed. Unfortunately, we didn't have an understanding, but at least we had messages on WhatsApp on what each of us wanted and we were clear. So I made sure that he understands that clearly until he started saying, okay, I'm going to pay you if you can do this for me. Oh, so I would do it and get my money. And then say, oh, Moses, I saw this. I'm going, I want to pay you so that you do it for me. We have no problem. He pays. I do the job. Everything is documented. Secondly, if possible, have a notebook or we call it a web diary. Everything you learn. You're going to learn how to develop headers, how to design footers, how to design pages. Not down. The plugins you use. Sometimes you're going to have to add code snippets to your pages to make them do special work. Record those code snippets. Keep them somewhere. It is always going to help you. It's going to come in handy. Thank you so much, Rogers. God bless you all. Happy Thank you. Design. When I see the signpost there, Casa Technologies on the wall, I see that you are in the right. You are in your place there. <laughs> so I'm very glad. Uh, this is the inspiration. Members, these are not developers. I am in touch with developers in WordPress, like the Casillas and the Rollinses. But I brought for you teachers, people who have been in class so that you can see that you can really make it. And um, one of the colleagues that I've worked with for long, uh, Mr. Dumba, recently in WordCamp Ginger shared this presentation about how to get and retain clients. And this was from an experience of one of the challenges we get as developers is sometimes you design for a client a website he doesn't renew uh, or he doesn't find value in the website. And the, there are lots of uh, things that he revealed uh, as a teacher and um, uh, various clients that you can target, uh, how to get the clients. This is one of the biggest things, how to get the clients. Moses Kass has just been telling us how he has been trying to, how he was getting clients and then uh, getting clients is one of the, the, the hardest things. Going out door to door, uh, blogging, uh, writing your own website and coming up with a blog um, can, can, is one thing that uh, is highlighted here. Uh, social media, using social media and tweeting. Some of us just joined the Twitter during this course. Um, SMS broadcasts, having your broadcast messages, speaking at events, and um, uh, getting involved in the networks. There are very many tips here uh, that uh, Mr. Dumba shared during WordCamp Ninja last year. Uh, volunteering. Um, for me, actually, I volunteered in one of the, some of the hackathons. 
and uh, being able to do several things. And then he coming up with uh, uh, you, are, you, you are making sure that you are consistent, retaining the clients, making sure that they are happy and uh, making sure that you care for them. Don't just call them to, re that you are, to demand them money for the new week, but you should be able to talk to them even during um, a while and make sure, check on them, make sure that they are fine, uh, go train them, do much more and make sure that you look at those websites. So some of us are culprits in some of these areas. Mr. Dumba, I would like you to uh, this time share uh, some small experience in this field of web design uh, briefly within like uh, maybe four to five minutes. Uh, what message do you give this class? We want to see new Moses Casas from this class. We want to see new Sebufos from this class, which uh, from your experience, yeah. Mr. Dumba. <laughs> Mr. Dumba, you online? Uh -huh. I've been sharing through Mr. Dumba's presentation. I don't know that he's online right now, or oh, he will come in later. Uh, I think he, 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 he will come in later. Let me first uh, invite um, my colleague, Mr. Wogisha Dennis. Uh, Mr. Wogisha Dennis defines himself as um, experienced ICT teacher and web developer. That is how he describes himself on his website. Uh, members, as you can see, you need to have a portfolio uh, which can help you because you cannot sell what you don't have. You could either have one for your, for your school or for your business or for yourself. Personally, I have had Mukalele.net for long, and uh, I keep uh, reimagining it and thinking of how I can uh, make it uh, different. So this is my photo. And uh, one of the things, I have my story there, my projects, which I have done, and I keep writing articles so that people can come and they find my stories there. So my colleague, uh, Mr. Mr. Ogisha, we work with him in the shareability. He also has a very beautiful website here. And um, Mr. Ogisha, uh, I want you to share some uh, experience for, on web design and where is the main point of failure that you see uh, and how can we really succeed in this field? Mr. Ogisha. Uh, Thank you, thank, thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mukarele Rogers. I don't know that you people can hear me. Yes, we can. Well, I want to begin by appreciating the colleagues who have shared the experience. I've been following closely, and I must uh, confirm I have loved the stories. Thank you for sparing time, colleagues, to share the experience. And uh, to the members who have been training, I think it is possible. You really can make it to high standards. Well, my story is very, very, very simple. I wouldn't be here without the support of Mr. Mukarele Rogers and Mr. Dumba. You know, uh, when I left school, I didn't have very good practical skills for the practical world of work. Yes, I had had HTML the CSS, but all what I could do was static websites. Eh? Now, when I met the two, they guided me through, actually first was inspiration eh? of the practical work they were engaging with the clients. They, have, they had a good experience in designing very beautiful websites. Eh? So when I was close to them, they started by giving me guidance and slowly they would give me websites to do even when I was not confident enough and slowly through that touch. Now today I develop websites and I feel it is still a journey which I know one day will be complete. So the whole, the whole design experience cannot come at once. You see, development is creativity, development is a process. 
So teachers, for now, you have the basics. You have, the, you all, you have all what it takes. And then now the team are around for continuous support. Eh? I would, in a nutshell, encourage us to have the will to start. Eh? For starters, <clears throat> we can begin with our portfolios. Eh? At Sheability Web Services, we have very affordable hosting space. Eh? From 45,000 shillings per year, you get 500 MBs and 1 GB at 60K. So you can have your own website powered at 110, and that is what you're going to pay annually. That is the 50K for a domain, that, and then the, the 60K for the hosting, 1 GB. And then, of course, the continuous support as, as a team. Eh? Um, because of the limited time we have, <coughs> I would do continue asking God to bless my colleagues, that is Mr. Dumba, Mr. Mkare Lodgers, as mentors that helped me start up this journey. I look forward also to supporting others on call. You can reach to me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I have a spirit eh, that if I was helped, then I can also help. Eh? If you reach to me for help, I will not hesitate to <coughs> support you and empower you or guide you accordingly. Mr. Mukare Roger, back to you and thank you for inspiring and guiding us to also start the practical business. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ogisha. Dennis, I know the time was not enough, but we can always share. Uh, Mr. Dumba, are you now available? Uh -huh. Mr. Dumba could be engaged, I think. Okay. So members, um, we, we have really shared, uh, members have shared here the issues of uh, how they started with this business. Uh, entrepreneurship, being an entrepreneur, okay? Being an entrepreneur and setting up your own business. It is one of the last things that have been um, highlighted. We are going to be sharing with you and even in the books, uh, you are going to see, uh, I, I extracted some few pages here just for screen sharing. You will see busy things, but you see the theory is not very important. What matters is starting and being an entrepreneur. So in this book, the last chapter is the establishing a web development business. And um, uh, I expected some few pages here, but I'm not going, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing this just for class purposes. I'm not going to share this uh, in, in this form um, to, uh, to anyone here. So please, having acquired the skills and knowledge about developing websites. You are now ready to join the world of work. You have seen how colleagues have shared with us and how they can, can be able to start their own, making yourself employed and employ others. So you start like shareability. Uh, we started one center for your presence. I was there one. Then from there, I, I looked for Mr. Dumba. I connected with him. We pushed it to some point. Now, right now, shareability, we have very many staff, okay? We have uh, offices in Jinja, and also we have offices in Kampala. We have like 10 uh, staff, and they get some money every month. So you realize that you can grow. You need to market your services. You need to brand. Like I said that for me, I started with the center of web presence. I saw the brand was not going. Then uh, we you need to get a good logo. You need to get a good brand. You need to identify your customers. You may be a person when you have a niche with hospitals or a niche with the uh, with the with the some kind of enterprise, and you find yourself that you can. You, if you schools are your thing, then you go. Churches are your thing. You do church websites, or you can see how you can get. Then you should be able to do the advertising, just like you saw in Mr. Dumba's presentation, which I'm also going to share. The flyers and all these things they are talked about here in the book. And um, uh, starting up with the uh, web services may not be very expensive, like starting the other printing business. Printing business may need more, but here you may just need a portfolio and your social media skills and you start. Then you convince a client, it gives you a website. You need your laptop and data and you are ready to start. And then you also need to legalize the business. Uh, as a shareability, we had to register. There are some people who will not give you a business uh, without you being registered. So I don't know 
uh, Moses Kasa, whether you are uh, incorporated or registered. Um, so for us, shareability, we went and uh, we got our uh, registration and the, we have our certificate there. We have a TINI number. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just show you, we have a TINI number and even we have uh, MSSF. Let me just share with you just something small here. Uh, so these things here, you can, you can be able to do them. Uh, you can be able to do them uh, slowly by slowly until when you get uh, there, okay? Uh, just a second. Uh, I think my presentation has been paused. Um, okay, I'm just doing a quick recap here. I'm going to be uh, ending. I'm going to be, we are going to be concluding. Yeah, so um, when you start your business, you need to, you need to um, also uh, legalize the business. You will go to a school, like uh, you go to Trinity College or another big school or another company, and they ask you for documents. Eh? If it is to do bidding, you cannot, they cannot give you if you are not registered and you are not paying taxes, okay? So some of these things you may need to do them and uh, get there. So here on, in our shabita, we have our certificate of incorporation. Uh, we have our... Um, we have our uh, our URL in number, and also we are registered on NSSF. This last month, uh, two months ago, we started paying NSSF for our staff in the shareability. Mm -hmm. So these things here, you, you do them, but they can help you to win a bigger a bigger contract. Okay, uh, when you show them that you are having these things, yeah. So um, you you need to. Um, you need to look at um, getting these things and uh, getting uh, registered. So legalized business, this is in the book. They are talking about the legalizing the business, register the business with the URSB. If you want support, you can, these days the URSB has a portal online where you can go and register, you fill in your documents, but also we have people in there who can be able to support you with URSB and uh, you need to know that, that process then you have uh, the TINI number and even NSSF. These things are inside the book, the, the textbook, which is the DIT book. Then the operational permits, um, you may need to have a local municipal authority or council. Some of these things can come with time. In insurance, they can come with time. You don't do everything at the same time. Keeping records is very important. Um, making sure that you keep records and uh, you can have your records in spreadsheets. You can get some so there are some software that can help you in record keeping, and uh, you can be able to start. And uh, I will not dive into making a, a budget, but uh, with web development, you can start easily. And uh, maintaining personal hygiene is also very important. If you are uh, go to a, a someone yesterday, I was I went to Exodus College. If I went there when I was very shabby. They would do say, eh, but if you go in, you are very smart. You can ask for five million, and they give you. So you need to be clean and uh, make sure that you interpret everything. So that is the end of the course. I want to give uh, Mr. Dumba is back a, a chance to give um, the 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 final. Um, I don't know whether I was even sharing my my friends. <laughs> I think I was I, I was I was talking. I don't know that people were seeing what I was what I was seeing here. Yeah, but all the things were there, and we are going to be sharing them in uh, the book. Mr. Dumba, give um, something, and as we are going to be uh, wrapping up, Mr. Dumba, uh, web design experience, and any any tips that you want to give the members here. Uh, okay. Rogers, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Rogers? Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today has been a star-studded uh, session. We have Rogers, the WordPress judge, 
Uh, we have Moses Casa and Moses Sebufu. We have Kruger Dennis. All these guys here are web serious web developers with their own entities, by the way. I am the director of Ease on Web Services, and we, we do websites. I do websites. I was introduced to web design by Roger Smukarere in 2018. Uh, Moses talked about his experience when I asked him to escort me to a WordPress event. And yes, um, yeah, we enjoyed, we enjoyed our day. People were talking plugins, things were too advanced. My first day of using WordPress is when I attended uh, web design. And then Roger was telling me to learn this, learn that, learn this. I told him what brought me here today was to learn how to install WordPress. Once I did that, I went back home and practiced again and again. I got the hints. And then I invited Rogers for a full day. We were five of us. So we asked Rogers to come and take us through a day of, of doing web design. So we learned in a day, by the way. And just a day after, I got a client who paid me one million shillings. My first web design job, I was given one million shillings when I even didn't know most of the things that I know today. So colleagues, uh, I want to encourage you one thing. Please don't learn this just to go and pass the exam. This is DIT, where we want kids to do the work. So it means you, the teacher teaching web design, you must be able to show them some of the websites you have created. We are going away from the old curriculum where we do talk a lot of sense. And then when we are told to implement these things in real life, there was nothing to show. We have taught web design for many years. I've taught for over 15 years, but I never built a website. So now with WordPress, I, uh, there are just so many websites that I've made. Uh, some of them with Roger, some of them with Dennis, some of them with Moses, Casa. I'm yet to do a, a website with Moses Sebufu, but I would love to be on that panel too. So you're lucky that, uh, you're fortunate that today you're, you're getting insights from people who are practicing web design and teachers like you. All of us here are teachers. Roger, Moses was just a neighbor here in Mamagoma. And uh, Moses, I remember the lockdown days when you gave me a banana, uh, a toke. How do you call it a banana in, in English? A <laughs> toke sebo. Yeah, Moses gave me a full toke and greens to feed my family during lockdown. So I'm grateful to all of you here, Rogers. I don't have much to say about web design. Thank you so much. I encourage the other people to take it on. Yeah, and it will make life yeah, better. Thank you, Rogers. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Dumba, um, for that. Uh, members, we are still here with you. Uh, I don't know, uh, on behalf of the class, I would want to get uh, one or two people um, to say something and then we close. Um, I want Mr. Sergo Stewart, Mr. Achika. Uh, there's another person who has logged in as DIT 2023. And other yes, people uh, like Madame Najemba and others who went off. I want. Yes, please. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, I wanted one person from the class or two to say something and then we close. Yes, yes Mr. Seru goes to watch. Thank you so much, Rogers, and the other presenters that have presented before me. I am grateful to have been part of this class. Rogers, am I coming in clear? Yes, you are very clear. I am grateful to have uh, been part of this class in my journey of web design. I actually first met Rogers in 2015. That was in Kololo SS. I, I believe um, this was a session for ICP teachers. And if I if I shared a photo, but one of the photos that we took, 
I think I was the youngest in the room that time. And then I, I was a student at McKerry. When actually Rogers, you was a student in McKerry again at College of Computing. So I am a teacher by profession. I'm not a teacher of ICT, I'm a teacher of biology and chemistry, but my passion is ICT all along in my high school. I have so much passion for ICT. And at the moment I am a student, a master student at McKerry for instructional design and the technology and education, something I'm just doing out of passion. And the, I want to thank so much Mr. Gumba. The first HTML code that I know how to write is from the online encounter with Mr. Gumba. And the, I think uh, 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 that was, I think, last holiday. I've been doing um, no code. Uh, they, they call it no code. But uh, the first website I wrote with HTML code and CSS. Uh, bravo to Mr. Dumba. And also, I run a small website purposely for my class and my friends. So I would like to expand it more. Uh, Rogers is my host. So that's um, sustuart.work. I, I really love um, websites and I'm looking forward to developing this career further more. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Stuart. And um, members, it has been a pleasure. Uh, we cannot uh, go more and more because of time. We are supposed to end at nine. So I want to thank each and everyone who has been on the call. Uh, we shall be having other general sessions where we shall be inviting everyone and we shall be organizing other cohorts. But for now, we are going to be planning uh, a physical uh, workshop engagement for this class because we have been doing on Zoom. There are some things that we may need to handhold. Just like Mr. Dumba has told you, we have had one day workshops which have been impactful and members have been equipped with the skills. So we shall continue. Uh, for now, we are going to register the members. And by the way, Moses Kasa and Moses Sebufu, if you are interested in uh, doing this DIT paper, you can also contact me after and I register you. Uh, even when you are not in part of the class, I believe you can prepare for that and you can have that paper as well for any opportunities that may come uh, in the field of uh, assessment and any other opportunities. So at this time, members, let us keep in touch with the WhatsApp group. We shall be sharing with you uh, some information. We are going to set some assessments and share them, and then uh, we shall be communicating to you the days uh, as uh, after getting the confirmations from uh, DIT. So from now, and every, um, I want to uh, thank, I, I want um, our friend Moses Kassa. Hey, uh, Moses Kassa, if you are still on, please, I want to ask you to give us a um, closing prayer. I know you're a very good man of God. Give us a, a brief closing prayer and then we shall be done. Okay, let's humble ourselves for prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the experiences shared, for the lessons learned, and for people who have opened their hearts to share with us. Father, we pray that every lesson that has been given to us will sink deep in our minds and deep in our hearts, that the points that we have been given, the things that we've been learning, the skills will be implemented. They'll not just keep idle with us, but they'll be implemented. And Father, we'll also share them with many other people. Today, some of us were sharing testimonies of how we were introduced. And it is my prayer that as we have been introduced, many more will be introduced from us. We pray all this, believing and trusting in Jesus is my name. Amen. 
Amen. Uh, thank you very much, members, and uh, have a nice evening. Bye-bye.